and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Jay Pushkar. He's Mike Fenner, and we'll hear from Tom Decker shortly. Mike, plenty of hoops tonight on the schedule from high school to college, especially with weather pending on Saturday. Some games got moved up to tonight, but the main focus tonight was the Burger King Classic. That's right, Jay. The 37th edition of the Burger King Classic Cathedral Prep coming in, trying to win the Classic for the first time since 1993, mm -hmm. trying to get to the final for the first time since 2006, and their journey began tonight against Thurgood Marshall from New York City there in Harlem. Liam Gala and the Ramblers have reached that finals for the first time in nearly 14 years. Early action, Prep taking a five-point first quarter lead on the finish down low from Gala. Gets a friendly roll. He had 13 points for the Ramblers. More from the home team. Front court mate Michael Lucarotti. The pump fake and finish at the rim in the first. He had nine points in that first stanza. 16-8 after the quarter. After a Rambler turnover, here comes Thurgood Marshall. It's Brandon Mendez to steal. And the coast-to-coast -coast finish. He had 10 points. A team high. Only player in double figures. Big play in the second. Loose ball and Lucarotti with the slam. And the jam with the right hand. He had 16 to lead prep. Ramblers rolling in the second half. Pickens, the Gannon signee with a finish down the lane off the glass. He had six. Prep would win its first BK Classic game since 2013 and advance to the finals for the first time since head coach Steve, Steve Piotrowicz played at prep in 2006. The final 54 34 is the Ramblers roll. It's huge. Our third quarter has been pretty bad the last couple of games. Um, you know, as a coach, you sit there and you try to figure out certain things on why why it has to be like that. And uh, you know, just kind of got into them a little bit at halftime, see if we could uh, change up the mojo a little bit. And, and you know, it, it works. Uh, you know, credit to our kids. They're the ones that came out with the focus, with an energy in the third quarter, and they got the job done. I'm really excited. Uh, the rest of the team's really excited. So we're really happy we can get uh, the opportunity to actually win the tournament after such a long time. So we're real happy. Mike's in the zone. I just keep giving it to him because I know. Going to end up making it. So when Mike's in his own, that just means our whole team's going to end up cooking. On the Lewis Fitness and Performance scoreboard, it's Prep knocking off third of Marshall 54 to 34. Michael Lucarotti with 16 points and nine rebounds. Liam Gallup chipping in with 13 points and four boards. How about the first game of the night? Seven state championships since 2009 for Philadelphia Power Emotep Charter taking on Andrews, Ob Andrews Osborne out of Cleveland. Charter up 16 early. Darren Ferguson able to find Anthony Stevens for two of his six. And we'll tap Charter coming the other way now. Cam Roundtree spins and finishes. He had 12 points. Ronnie Raphael on the pick and roll. Able to find Notre Dame recruit Elijah Taylor going in upstairs. He had 14 points to lead them. And then finally on the break, it's Roundtree once again with the transition lay-in. Imhotep Charter wins this one 65-44 to advance to the BK Classic Final tomorrow night at 7.30, where, as we've mentioned, they'll take on Cathedral Prep. Over at Erie High, Royals taking on North Allegheny. This one was good, especially in the second half of play. Ethan Lake buries the three-pointer from the near wing. He would finish with 10 on the night. Royals down seven when they would make a run in that third quarter. John Woodward. On the drive and scores. Moments later, it's Woodward with the steal at midcourt. Then he splits the soon-to-be double team at midcourt. Then goes the distance for two of his 11 points. Moments later, Erie goes inside, this time to Jamie Smith. He finishes. He would finish eight points on the night. Rashawn Dean chipping in with 10. The Royals fight back and take this one on their home floor 50 to 44. Region 4 Hoops Gerard taking on Mercyhurst Prep up at Penn State Barron's Junker Center tonight. Let's get to the action here. Mercyhurst Prep going to Dante Wilcott from the outside. Buries the three-pointer from out front. He's excited. How about this? More from the Lakers off the deflection. The steal. Matt Bangle up ahead to Wilcott who finishes at the rim. He had 18 points. Bangle led the Lakers with 25. Action from Gerard now off the out-of-bounds play. Austin Barrett finding Silas McCaslin off the glass and good. Then Chris Jones kicks to the corner off the miss three. It's McCaslin right place, right time. They'll put back with the left hand. Mercier's prep improves to 11 and 4, beating Gerard the final tonight, 50 to 35. Next, we have Erie First Christian on the road at Northeast. We'll pick it up in the second quarter. Northeast's Seth Fuller dishes to Carter Hassenplug, who drains the three. He's had a great season from beyond the arc. Then it's this time Garrett Hine trying his luck. His shot is off. Fuller is there for the pit back as the picker is able to crash the boards offensively. And then Northeast on the breakaway opportunity. Hassan Plug laying it in for two more. It's Northeast cruising in this one, 73-53. Now it's time to turn it over to our third member of our team, Tom Decker. Tom? 
Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Let's shift gears now to Region 6, where much like last year, Titusville leads the way with Corey right in the mix at the top of the standings. Both teams are in action tonight and both playing on their home courts. We start with the Rockets, who are hoping to serve up a little home cooking in the Fort LaBeouf Bison. In the first, we pick it up, Elijah Perez. He's going to drive and get the hoop and the harm. He would finish with nine points on the night. Fort LaBeouf, they would answer, though, and they do it with the three ball. Max Andres, top of the key, he dials that one up. That would give the Bison the early lead. Rockets, though, they'd pick it up with the defense. Perez gets the steal, and he's going to take it in for another two more. More from the home team here, and they're going to shoot the three ball as well, and it's going to be Charlie Evans. He's going to be out to the right of the top of the key, and he knocks it down. Rockets hold strong in this one. They take down the Bison 61 to 47. Next, we head out to Corey, where the Beavers were squaring off the Warren Dragons. Fourth quarter action, Dragons up six and looking to take some time off the clock, but Nick Bundage spoils that game plan as he gets the steal. That would lead to this pass down low to Micah Knapp, whose bucket pulls Corey to within four. Warren, though, would keep their composure. Thomas Bablick to Ben Berendine for two of his game high 22 points. And the Dragons come into hostile territory and take down the Beavers tonight, 62 to 55. Finally, we had the Maplewood where the Tigers were playing host to the Sagertown Panthers, and I love the rowboat action there. Sagertown's Isaac Johnson lobs it into Jaden Wilkins. Wilkins, nice shot down low. That made it 9-6 to six Panthers. Then off the missed shot, Maplewood's Ricky Cole. He's going to get the rebound and show some nice touch in the paint right there. That would put it up to 13-8 Tigers. Then Joel Cox, check out this move. Nice move, nice shot to get over the outstretched arm of the defender. He gets two there, and then the Tigers looking at that transition game, and it's going to be Cox one more time, and get another strong take. Gets it to fall down. This one would be good if you're a, a fan of the, um, I'm sure, excuse me, this would be a big win if you're a fan for the Tigers here. They take this one 69-51. to 51. Gentlemen, that's going to do it for me. Let's send it back to you. And we're a big fan of you, Tom. Voice scores from around the area. Seneca beats Northwestern 52-37 <laughs> out of Wattsburg County, Ohio, over Iroquois across the border, 62-38. Harbor Creek over Oil City, 52-44. Meadville falls 64-60 at Kennedy Catholic. General McLean over Mentor Christian, 65-20. Cambridge Springs getting the better of Cochranton, 78-50. Let's shift gears to college basketball. Men's action at McCollum Fieldhouse. Of course, you mentioned the outset. This game moved up to tonight. Edinburgh and Clarion. Second half action, Cathedral Prep grad Jaron Simpson on the fast break, lays it in for two of his career high, 38 points on the night. A little later, it's Clarion's uh, going to the basket here at the lay-in, 53-44 Eagles with the advantage. Burrow trying to get back in at Simpson, the nice dish to West Middlesex grad Trey Staunch. He would finish with 18 on the night, scoring from the block there, more from the Eagles. Steven Rodriguez using the fake and the floater with the left hand, Clarion back up by 10 in this one. And then uh, Turner Kurt, the Cambridge Springs grad, open from the top of the key, nails the three ball from out there, but the Fighting Scots couldn't complete the comeback as Clarion takes it 93-81 at McComb Fieldhouse. Meanwhile, game one at the McComb featured women's action between the same two schools. We'll pick it up in the third. Edinburgh's Michaela Barnes drives, loses the ball, but stays with it, lays it in. She had a game-high 30 points. What a season she's having. Clarion answers at the other end of the floor. Yasmin Lewis receives the cross-court pass, knocks down the jumper to make it a 37-27 deficit. More from the home team this time. It's Barnes going inside, and then eventually Sharp able to come up with the offensive rebound and put back. She would finish with 13 points, 13 rebounds, and then check out the nice move by freshman guard Jada Whaley. Talk about a quick first step as she was able to cash in on the points. And Edinburgh knocking off Clarion this evening, 63 to 47. On the Lewis Fitness and Performance scoreboard, OHL action. The Otters begin their three games in three days road trip on the road. On the right foot, four to three win over Sarnia. Brendan Hoffman, the game winning goal for Erie late in the third period. Otters head to Windsor on Saturday night. They've now won five of six. Men's hockey for Mercyhurst. Lakers taking on Robert Morris as these two teams met earlier in the week. And now they have a two-game series this weekend. Opening period, Robert Morris on the rush, but making the save was Garrett Metcalf. He turned away 36 shots on the evening. On to the second period now. Still no score until Paul Most lights the lamp. Mercyhurst up one to nothing. And then three and a half minutes later, it's Jonathan Bendorf with the tally. And this proved to be the game winner as Mercyhurst knocks off Robert Morris. Your final two to one. Women's hockey from this afternoon, also at the Ice Center. Mercyhurst entertaining Penn State as these two teams will play two 
today and tomorrow. Minutes into the first period, Lady Lakers on the rush, and it's Michelle Robillard flicking the puck up and in for the power play goal. one nothing. Mercyhurst, same score in the second. Penn State on the attack. Eventually, Kennedy Blair coming up with the save. She would turn aside 30 shots, but it's the Lions being able to tie it up late in the third period. It would be settled in a 1-1 tie. Same two teams added again Saturday afternoon beginning at 2 p.m. Quick look at college wrestling out of town. Division 1, Edinburgh falls to Ryder 20-12 in New Jersey tonight. The Fighting Scots had winners at 125. Lucas Rodriguez, Jacob Oliver over Dean Cherry at 174. Cody Mulligan at 184. And John Spalding at heavyweight. General McLean grad and ninth-ranked Ethan Laird of Ryder beating Dylan Reynolds 3-2 at 197 pounds. More college wrestling. This time we'll go back to Mercy Harris as they were taking on Fairmont State at 174 pounds weight class. Mercyhurst Kevin Holman facing Tucker Lawson. Holman would record a series of points including this two-point takedown here. Holman defeats Lawson by the final of 10-4. Mercyhurst would topple Fairmont State 40-6.